This is your news, your choice on KLGT WB23. Thanks for switching over to News of Your Choice. I'm Mike Walcher for Cindy Hilger. Tonight, we'll give you a chance to get more coverage of the big stories of the day, wherever they happen. Among those stories, federal indictments came down today for the men suspected of blowing up the federal building in Oklahoma City. In a moment, you'll see how the local news in Oklahoma City covered that story. First, a roundup of the day's top stories. Locally, authorities say they will not press charges against 21-year-old Andrew Lear, arrested in connection with the death of Thomas Garrett. Garrett died Saturday night from injuries he sustained, hitting his head on the concrete during a fight with Lear. You're about to hear why the Minnesota Music Awards' top female vocalist got her honors. Kristen Mooney has some pretty amazing pipes and has sung everything from the old WCCO radio jingle to back up vocals at Peter Himmelman concerts. And tonight, escorted by St. Patrick the Pig, she even sang the national anthem of the St. Paul Saints game. Garvin Snell introduces us to Kristen Mooney, a woman ready to take center stage. Please. Welcome to this Thursday Night Discovery. I'm Mike Walcher in for Cindy Hilger. On the rundown tonight, the 82nd Airborne gets carried away. Literally, we have the video see some of the movie flub-ups that didn't get corrected on the cutting room floor. And we'll update you on the Simpson trial news. First, a graphic lesson in how not to land with a parachute. Something to remember next time you jump out of a plane, if you do. Let's roll the tape. Okay, this started out as a routine parachute jump by the famous 82nd Airborne over Salt Lake City, Utah. But as the paratroopers rained down to the ground, high winds took over. Several of the jumpers got knocked down and in some cases dragged away when the wind caught their chutes. It wasn't pretty. Uh, we did sustain uh, some minor injuries. Uh, probably paratroopers may have, you know, what, they may have appeared to hit harder than they did. Uh, but according to the reports, we've got only 12 injuries. Well, what luck? Only 12 injuries? Well, two of the jumpers had to be taken away to the hospital. The number of casualties was later revised to more than 30. <laughs> <laughs> 